Hey YouTube, make a quick little tour overview of this 2013 Volkswagen Beetle in this very, very nice exterior color, white, white pearl I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, you have the really nice black top, nice combination, it's a turbo, I believe it's a 2 liter turbo or a 1.8 liter turbo, don't quote me as I said, you do have these really nice 18 inch wheels, painted alloy wheels with black inserts I guess, and you have a really nice trim down here, it's a really conservative design for me, I like your black mirrors. And just the things I would do for this thing. Oh my god, this is such a nice car. You do have halogen headlights and fog lights. Such a bold styling. I mean, this is just such more of a upgrade than your previous generation Beetle. And you do have really nice aluminum trim right here. Right all along, and I'm just going to step on in. This is like almost brand new. It's been sitting here for a while, though. Anyways, you do have this leatherette seating, I believe. Like I said, don't quote me, I'm not... I don't know much about Volkswagens as good, so <clears throat> I believe it's leatherette seating with this carbon fiber look, I guess. And stepping on in, you do have a really nice steering wheel. It doesn't look like it's bolstered or feel it, but it is really nice leather, and it's it it's, feels good in your hands, though. You have your upgraded gauges. This whole thing was just remodeled or redamped for everything, so really nice gauges. Coming to the door panels, you do have the piano black trim, which is a fingerprint magnet. And this is hard right here, and all hard. This is soft padded though, pretty nice. And you do have all automatic window switches, it feels like it. So I'm gonna leave the door open, it's pretty hot out today. You have your Fender audio system, which is an upgrade, I believe. Then you pull for fog lights, turn on pretty lights. But headliner is obviously really plush because it's convertible. And anyways, coming over here, you do have a hard touch dash for the convertibles, I believe. I, as I said, I don't know much about these, so you have a really nice carbon fiber really nice and it opens up I don't like the mechanism I feel like these are going to be broken a lot in the future but it is damped nonetheless and this is damped also and the window sticker is right here so let me open it up $32,000 feel free to freeze it if you want do get about 29 miles highway 24 mix it's not the best but if you're going to be driving one of these I guess you're going to be driving it so I'm going to just leave this on the floor because I don't want to fold it back up. We do have a nice leather book and everything. And you do have a 6-speed DSG automatic transmission with manual sport mode. Leather stitched uh, armrest. Padded though. Leather stitched e-brake, which is really nice. And you have your you push the start right here. But I don't really know if I can demonstrate much. Yeah, I can turn the radio on. And the bass probably isn't tuned or anything, but it sounds pretty good for stock, so use your up, all your up controls. I think it's light, and then your convertible top is right there. But anyways, I don't really want to get out of it, it's so nice, but you do have the all-other Beetle floor mats. The useless mat pocket, or side pocket. And the fold the seat down, I'm not sure, but... Oh, you pull this leather right here. And it slides the whole seat up. Climbing on back. You have the same seating materials as front. You do have dual mat pockets, which is going to be tight back here. I'm not even going to demonstrate it, but here's your windscreen if your top is down. I believe it's an option. You do have adjustable headrest, which is really nice. They put that in the convertible. And you do have tweeter here, speaker here, and one cup holder and a 12-volt power outlet. So they utilize their space pretty nicely. Because this is all hard touch right here, which really, I mean, Volkswagen, come on, you couldn't have put the effort of maybe making it a little bit padded right here. I mean, whatever. Padded right here also, which I said it could be a pretty fingerprint magnet or, you know, anything really. But headroom is pretty good though from the bubbly design of it. I like called the bubbly design, but here's your vents for the floor. And you your all weather floor mats back here. And a dime nickel, whatever it is. And this adjusts and you have a holder right here. But that's pretty much it for the interior. I'm trying to make my twirls under five minutes, but that's never possible. And just to jump on out, push the seat back, nice mechanism, close it up, and the window goes up nicely too. I believe to open the hatch you just push this, and you have a small trunk space but that you utilize it pretty nice, it's alright I guess. And this, this leather uh, boot goes over your convertible hatch and this is all nicely finished off. 
Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up right about now, guys. And as usual, thanks for watching, and talk to you all later.